Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, we're gonna go over another trade recap on Trumby. I told you guys I would be consistent and um, with this trade recap. So today we got another one. I try to get it as soon as I'm done live streaming for the chat. And if you don't know, I try live every single day with our group. Code 39, it's number 39. Check out the link will be down below for $39 on your first month. As soon as I get done with the recaps, I try to do them fresh so that you know. I'm uh, ready for you guys. So we took a really nice long on in queue. We actually had two entries on in queue. The first entry was not mine. It was my head trader Don, one of my best students uh, that also posts his trades now in the group chat as well as mine, which was right over this 279 area. So first I want to talk about what's going to be important today is understanding my entry, even though there was potentially a better entry, why I preferred my entry because of the amount of drawdown or heat I took my trade. For example, if you look at this other trade, right, you could have entered here, right, anywhere in here, in here. stop loss the law, and it would have worked out, right, you did moon. But look kind of how much chop you sit through. Pretty much from the open, you set all of this. And this is more likely was a turtle soup under this equal lows. You see this equal lows? That was a soup right under it. So it was, an, a, it was a good entry. I waited for the confirmation entry, which was not as a good entry, but I took no heat on the trade. I took no drawdown on the, dra on the trade. And when you talk about like on paper, when you look at a trade on paper versus when you actually take it, right? Removing the drawdown, removing him to sit through chop will make it much easier for you to hold it. It'll make it much easier for you to practically uh, actually manage that trade, right? There's trades that you could have had, and this happened to everybody. You could have had trades that you've taken and it was the right idea, but because the trade was kind of sketchy, it was choppy, price didn't go straight to your TPs, you did not hold this. So understanding that when you take a trade, try to enter the best entry that's going to give you the least amount of drawdown will be the best and the least amount of chop will be the best entries. Also, this was the equal highs target from yesterday. You can see price held it on the larger time frame. We pretty much held it. Wait a little, uh, move to the downside pre-market during Asia London, but we recovered it quickly. So the reason why I entered where I entered, you can see we had this five minute fair value gap. There was a rejection point right off the, pretty much essentially the open and 40 there and then 950. So I waited for the candle to close and this candle actually closed above it right there. So that was right into 279. As long as the five minute closed above this five minute, I was in the trade, but I did have a pretty much essentially hard stop at about 14 points. Again, really small targeting this high right here, which was Tuesday's high as well as I targeted the new higher day in case price did not want to be very strong. We also had a bullish divergence at the lows. If we look at NQ, let's go down NQ, and sorry, and look at the S2, not NQ, yes. I don't know, fucking confused now. Uh, you see this 845 low, essentially all of this 8 to 9 a.m. lows that got taken out, but if we look at the 845 low on Yes, what do we see? A pretty nice bullish divergence. What is a bullish divergence? Is when one asset, doesn't matter which one, could have been an upset, would have still been a bullish divergence. And you guys don't need to understand this. One asset made a new low, the other one made a higher low. That creates a bullish divergence. And guys, so just to make it simple for you, if you're making lows, it can only be a bullish divergence. You cannot make a low and create a bearish divergence. Bearish divergence are only created at highs. So if you swap this, yes, made a new low and then Q made a higher low, it's still a bullish divergence. And you guys, you guys cannot get that across. You guys think it's a bearish divergence a lot of times when it's not. It's the complete opposite. And I see that mistake today happen in the chat room. Right? So we had the bullish divergence. We had the key level hold. We had this continuation. This, if you watch yesterday's recap, and I hope you watched that, we talked about this larger time frame AMD. Right? This was the D. This is the last distribution, accumulation, and then, um, sorry if I could do it was the opposite way, the opposite way. Accumulation right here on this hourly, manipulation down, and now we're distributing to the upside, more than likely all the way up here. Uh, this would have been like a main target and may potentially to 2,500. Go watch, go watch the video yesterday, I explained the larger time frame uh, a little bit better. I made a little mistake here on this trade. I kind of closed it all at my last TP. I always, you guys know, I always leave runners. And the market structure was super clean for continuation. This, I mentioned this on the stream. I didn't actually take it myself, but this could have been a really easy 15 minute continuation up. You create a fair value gap, you respect it perfectly, and now you just keep pushing. As yes, it's still also pushing, right? So that could have been a nice continuation up, or at least hold runners. 
I made a little bit of a mistake by not doing that. But hey, uh, I was very happy with the trade that I took. We do have FOMC minutes, so I didn't think we'll have an extremely high, like, crazy day. But we did. I did. I held most of my contracts here at 60, right? I held most of them at 60 uh, contracts. So, you know, we'll see. It's only 150, so I missed on 40, 50 points. It is kind of sad to see. But it, it's good. It's still a really good trade, and I really like where my stop loss was and my entry. And today was all about understanding. And I feel like every day that I do a trade recap, there is like a key idea that, or a key learning thing within that uh, video. And today's video, in my opinion, was the entry. You could have gotten, yes, a better entry to super the lows, the divergences. But would you have realistically held all that chop? Or even though if you did held it, once it finally pushed you, you saw some green because you were so worried the whole time. They kept going red, green, stay choppy. You thought stop loss was going to hit you. You got scared. You moved that stop loss a little too quick. Did you, you know, actually hold it to your PTs, right? And you got to ask yourself those kind of questions. If the answer is no, maybe waiting for the confirmation entry, the entry that's like, hey, I've talked about this before too. It's like, hey, every buyer, everyone here agrees this is just bullish. Here people are not green yet. Bullish, bearish, boom, boom, boom. Over this, everybody, yeah, this is bullish. You see, it went straight up, no drawdown, just shoo. Honestly, just give enough, a few minutes right here just to get in, which was beautiful. Everybody get in, uh, send the signal and all that, and boom, we went. And off the races, we were, right? Using the, the larger time frame combination uh, with the smaller time frames to find an entry with a good risk to reward. Guys, we had those three red days about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago almost. Since then, we had eight green days in a row, 82% plus win rate. And so I tell you guys, over the long term, using the system, using the right strategy, you will be profitable even if you lose a week. It doesn't even matter because you lost a part of the game. You have to learn to accept them. But overall, you go back and, you know, something that I personally do is I go back to like, I'll go to a month ago and see like, okay, how was I doing then? And I'm like, bam, I was killing it. So that I get confidence back into my system. And now you guys are seeing the confidence played out. Uh, into my trades uh, trading really really well hope you learned something make sure you follow subscribe subscribe down below leave a comment I appreciate everybody if you can trade out with me every single day the link will be down below as always peace out boys <laughs>